Support your boy and donate a dollar to the Patreon. No way it's branded. Power to the gamer. Ready to eat for everyone. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. You guys know who it is. It's your guy. No way. It's Brandon coming at you guys again with another video for today. How are you guys doing, man? You guys doing well? You guys doing great? You guys doing absolutely stupendously fantastic as always, guys. We are back right at it with some more Riders Republic. And before we drop into the game for this week, today is August 3rd. So on Wednesday, uh, it looks like we already have some new stuff in the game and recently um there was an event going on called rebirth no not the call of duty warzone rebirth okay and if you took part in this event you got a free hoodie so once i drop into the game we are going to check out this free hoodie so i'm not exactly sure if um oh actually never mind it says to all who took part in the march on july 30th We'd like to show you our thanks with a commemorative hoodie to mark this special day. So I think just as long as you showed up to one of those events, which they had plenty of, uh, then you get a free hoodie, which is really cool. I mean, I think Ubisoft, again, is just doing great with all, all, all the free stuff. Oh, and then they also gave away emotes. So that was, uh, that was a pretty interesting free event that they had. Well, every event is free, but... That was a pretty interesting way to uh, give players more free gear. And the gear is green, which is pretty sick, might I add. And uh, right before, we actually jump right into some of that stuff. So looking at the store, there isn't much new. By the way, again, <laughs> do not, absolutely do not buy this Tricks Madness pack right here. If you want smoke in the helmet or if you want it for the smoke helmet, because uh, the helmet does not emit smoke. And I'll even test that right now before we carry on. So I do have a video talking about that specifically. I'm not sure if it went up at this point or not. But uh, yeah, it's been a while since Ubisoft has added smoke to this helmet and the same thing with the red one. So, still don't know what is going on with this. I mean, I don't know if these are supposed to have smoke, but it is what it is with that for now. So, getting on with the weekly challenges, uh, they're pretty mid this week. Pretty mid this week. I mean, for the master challenge, there is what looks to be a freestyle bike. That's either a freestyle or a downhill, so... If we do manage to unlock this one today, then we're going to check it out. But it's not an elite level bike. It is just a or an expert bike. So stars, of course, uh, this has a snowboard. So we'll go ahead and try to complete the Canyon Drop Chain Stunt today in Canyonlands. And this one... <laughs> This one was like, I mean, I don't want to call, look, I don't want to say, I don't want to call Ubisoft lazy, but <laughs> literally just earn 40 stars. You get 25 more stars. Hey, straightforward, straightforward. It's fine with me. So uh, mass race stuff right here, more stars. So pretty, pretty, pretty mid stuff. Uh, I mean, I'm still going to check out the snowboard and the bike, of course, but let's go ahead and check out this area. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hoodie, 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 hoodie. So the hoodie is right over here. Boom. New rebirth hoodie. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. It says play for forest. All right. So I'm wondering if uh, Ubisoft incidentally semi introduced this new landmark like last season because for a while there was uh, like 45 out of 46 and there was even a new stunt that wasn't actually here yet so we're gonna go ahead and check this one out the jib jab just getting in my way all right let's go ahead and check this out little juju very nice i wonder if uh is is little juju an actual uh landmark and 
Canyonlands? Little Juju is the testimony of the Riders Republic's unity during the rebirth event. This once uh, desertic place is now full of trees and life. It proves that whatever the challenge, there will be riders to own it. Take care of the planet, take care of yourselves. Okay, I'm not exactly sure if this is based off of an actual location or landmark in Canyonlands, but all right. So we got a new Canyonlands and 46 out of 46. Got to keep 100% in the game, of course. Haha. <laughs> and you get one star. One star. So last week, there was uh, there was a tree here, this one, but I don't think there was actual leaves on it at the time. I don't think that there was. Oh, look at this. They have trees all around here now. Hey, yo, okay. So, I mean, this might not be that big of a deal for you guys, but uh, all of this here did not have any vegetation, really. They did not have any trees. So, oh, dude, so during the... So during the... Uh, what is this mastery called? I played it like six times and I already forgot, but uh, the Desert Bloom, the new Desert Bloom mass race should have these trees here now i'm very very certain so this is where the mass race starts right so whoo this this is actually kind of nice hey yo i gotta play the new mass race now again yeah this is really cool so now the uh dude this area looks so different Ooh, this looks nice now i like this again take it as you may it may not be that big of a deal but it's cool to see ubisoft always making some kind of change big or small i have to really appreciate it so under 40 seconds let's see how many tries this takes me Get bouncing, rider. oh that wasn't good. Restart, 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 restart. I didn't think I was going to fall right there, but I guess I did. Did I do it? Let's see. Oh, that wasn't too bad. It says try hard. You know what though? It is because I do have a level 900 bike. So I think typically if you have level 900 anything, the stunts aren't too bad, but let's go ahead and check out the new board. Let's go to the ice castle. Oh, it's actually a snow race board. Oh, never mind, because I was over here in the snow tricks. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and play a racing event really quick. This board is definitely for the players that are still probably grinding for elite gear, but I'm going to go ahead and check it out anyway. Play this on elite just to see how it goes, right? But definitely, though, this isn't going to beat out uh, other players in, uh, say, Mass races, it's just not. Like, dude, I'm already going super slow right now, right? Oh, Lord me. <laughs> this is not quick. It's not. And uh, I'm trying to take the fastest line that I can here. God, I'm getting pushed by NPCs. But, I mean, I guess if you're, you know, still starting out. Like, this snowboard right here is definitely for players that are brand new and just starting out. And uh, this is a pretty good board, I'll say, if you literally just started playing the game. So uh, I'm sure if you maybe take a few tries to beat that stunt under 40 seconds, this is, I mean, this is pretty good. And it's what, a Kemper? Yeah, and it's Kemper. Yo, can we get a Kemper sponsor in the game? I mean, may as well. Ubisoft has been adding in quite a few Kemper items into this game, so... I mean, it, it handles nice. I mean, it's it's just a snowboard, but uh, in terms of speed, I can feel the big difference going from level 900 to, uh, to this. It's still pretty cool. I mean, just as I said, probably this is probably more so for the newer players 
again, I would have to I would have to imagine because like higher level players are not going to be using this board, especially for the really competitive riders. I don't think so. But hey, still cool free stuff. All right. So I got to head on over to Red Bull Holy Bike really quick because for the Trek sponsor, I have to earn points during a bike race event. And I also have to complete big or boss events. So we're going to go ahead and knock this one out of the park really quick, bro. But hey, man, you guys for sure. Let me know if you like Ubisoft making small changes to the world, having little updates like this. I can always appreciate it. I mean, I know that people like to go big or go home with updates and stuff, right? But I mean, uh, something is always better than nothing. And uh, with with season three just launching, I didn't really think that Ubisoft had to do too much more just yet. But uh, you know, it's it's still cool. Yo, I'm gonna see if I can get that summer bloom mass race in this video because I just wanna I wanna see if those trees are actually there. I would imagine that they are, but you never know. You never know. Sometimes, uh, oh, there we go, Trek. Sometimes bugs happen or... Doge, 30-40. Bikes combo. Oh, yo, let's go. We are getting it in today in Riders Republic, and we just started. But yeah, just as I was saying, though, uh, I know that people like big updates all the time for games, but hey, you know... You can't always get really, really, really big updates. Ooh, that was a really bad turn. I got to maybe change my sensitivity a little bit. Oh, I tried to jump over the the plank. I've played this event in multiplayer like one time in free for all. <laughs> but this was when the game first launched, right? And no one could take these turns well. No one could. Like everyone was just crashing everywhere. Oh, the good old days. That was like, just like that. The good old days. That was like six months ago, though. Everyone in this game has gotten so much better. All right, so win big or boss bike event. Still going to continue that trend right now. We're also going to go play... What's that event called in Canyonlands? Santa Cruz. The uh, Santa Cruz event, the freestyle one. Because that one is pretty quick, pretty quick. But yeah, man, I find it absolutely crazy. Oh, my smoke just glitched out. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I find it absolutely crazy how much free stuff Ubisoft gave to players in the past week. It's insane, because they gave away backpacks, shirts, emotes. Oh, dude, I still got to show those to you guys, right? Yeah, it's just, it's just insane. And, uh, I know that I've said this a million times already, but I don't know how Ubisoft is making any money. I mean, beside the sale of the game, of course, because this is a, uh, a game that you do have to buy. It is not free to play. But, I mean, I'm still very shocked at how lenient they are in giving away free cosmetics in the game. I mean, not just like a little shirt, but multiple shirts, backpacks, emotes. I gotta appreciate it. I'm just saying because I come from playing a lot of Halo, right? And when it comes to, for example, 343, giving free stuff away, it's usually just emblems. Oh my God. I just, <laughs> I just rode right off of that first feature, but, uh, just as I was saying, it's usually just free emblems, just for signing on to the game, but Ubisoft has really been outdoing themselves, I think, for free cosmetics. I mean, almost, I think, I don't want to say too many, but almost too many free cosmetics? Because I don't know if Ubisoft would ever get to a point where they're giving away so many free items that people are like, yeah, why should I go and buy stuff from the store? That's why I've said, if Ubisoft is going to be 
charging people or like trying to get people to buy stuff in their shop, they have to be super cool items, so... That's what has to be... Oh no, oh, it's a really bad case. That's what has to be the differentiating factor between the free items and the items in the store. So I, th I think I did, I think I might have mentioned how I would have liked to see Ubisoft give us the ability to earn more, say, smoke helmets, but I think I'm fine with them s like selling some types of smoke helmets or masks because those are very different from other standard free items, right? But that's just my perspective on that. All right, so heading over to Santa Cruz. We're gonna go ahead and uh, and kill it in this one. But yeah, like generally when it comes to Canyonlands, it looks pretty much like this, where it's just a lot of dirt, a lot of uh, tan, brown, not too much green. But again, I've never been there, right? I have never been there and uh, I only saw what I saw from the pictures. But generally, it looks pretty much like this. I didn't see anything else where there were like taller trees and more vegetation than what you see here, right? But then again, that is just me looking at pictures. So if any of you guys have ever been to Canyonlands in Utah, let me know. Let me know. But yeah, dude, like Ubisoft gets me so hyped for this game. And uh, mainly because, just uh, just as I've said, I come from playing a ton of Halo. And uh, thus far, Halo Infinite, it's been, eh, you know, very, very bumpy ride. But hopefully it can, it can get rocking and rolling soon again. But Ubisoft, man, they have a lot of updates. They have a lot of free gear in this game. And uh, they're just they're just always doing something. And then when it comes to Halo Infinite, right? Uh, in case you guys haven't played that game, it can be kind of like buggy sometimes. And sometimes there's there's this weird like desync issue. And there's just some mechanical issues in the game that have to be fixed. So, <laughs> which is kind of unfortunate because when it comes to that game, right? You can't even really talk about new updates and stuff without, like, you know, fixing the mechanical issues, right? Because it's like, if your game isn't working as intended, just quality of life type of things, then it's like, how can you even think about new updates for the game? So that's why I really, really like this game in particular. And, uh... During or right after launch, this game did have a few issues. Mainly, mainly this game always crashing. Like, for some reason, I had this really bad crashing issue where I would play for maybe about an hour. And then every hour I would play my game, it would just crash and log me out. So stuff like that, Ubisoft fix pretty much right away. As far as I remember, but um, generally with this game, there isn't anything game breaking. So it's really nice to see that coming from Ubisoft because like I've said this countless amounts of times too with like other games, they're just broken for some reason. Like quality of life is just not there. So with this game, for the most part, it, it's just on top of it. I mean, yeah, you know, no game is without its bugs, bugs and glitches and stuff, right? But for this one in particular, it it works great so we could always look forward to new updates new content and we're not sitting here talking about yo <laughs> you know the the bicycles are broken right or something crazy like that so gotta give some kudos to ubisoft for that one okay so it says finish 10 events with funkies or toys gear equipped uh, events can be played solo verse or in free for all playlists so i think i'm only going to show select gameplay here because these are going to be pretty repetitive so i might pick two or three 
just to show to you guys and for the rest I'm just gonna play right on through it so before I forget so some of the new items were this eco activist scarf right here which kind of looks like one of those um, like army scarves if you will and a ton of backpacks and these backpacks you can't really see them but they have signs on them they also gave away this one the green march tee which is pretty clean i'm not gonna front with you on that and then of course they had this one i believe if you just teleported to the rebirth area and then i think a lot of you guys are gonna like this one the eco activist camo shorts like camo shorts i'm sure a lot of people would love with some leggings on the bottom, so pretty clean fit. I don't think that it came with any shoes. You know what I'm gonna try to do? I'm gonna try to continue to complete some of the stuff in Mammoth and also try to finish the um, the weekly Shack Daddy that requires me to use Funkies at the same time, if that makes any sort of sense. But I don't know if this video went up already, but there was a video where I was playing some events over here and my SD card ran out of storage. So uh, I didn't record like the last 15 minutes. So a couple of these you guys didn't get a chance to see. They're kind of boring, but I didn't complete this one right here. So let's go ahead and go right over here. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just as I said, dude, where, I didn't even mark the thing. Where the heck? Oh, here it is. <laughs> I'm a yeah. psychopath, bro. Okay, here we go. So for this one, it says uh, land a triple backflipper grader. And then it also says finish top three on expert using the one foot board funky. So this will be an event where I can complete it using the one foot board funky. And I'm only going to use that for right now. And I'm not going to use any other uh, snowboard because I want to ensure that we can get some progress done for that specific challenge for today so win on expert or higher no fall oh god no checkpoint missed all right expert let's do it so expert right now and triple backflip let's see if we can get that done i am so addicted to this game bro i mean i loved every single moment of this game nope not a triple backflip here we go it says no fall, <laughs> so I'm not going to take, oh, but I need some, I need rail points, bro. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> that was a very late spin. Yeah, whenever something says no fall and there are rails, it makes me nervous. Because I, I swear, like, rails have some RNG in this game. Straight up. Okay. I'm going to try to do the bare minimum here. I think I should be good. Let me just go off to the side right here. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah, if it ever says to complete something without fall and there are rails, avoid <laughs> avoid the rails if you can. But hey, I might I might just be scared. I don't know. <laughs> it's just I want to try to first try it. That's my thing, right? That's my thing. I just I want to try to first try this. Here, watch this. I ain't scared. <laughs> you guys thought I was scared. I don't think so. I do not think so. I'm a little scared. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh Lord. Ooh. I'll hit it, I'll hit it, I'll hit it, I'll hit it, I'll hit it. Who's scared? Who's scared now? Oh, who's scared now, bro? I ain't scared of nothing. Ain't nobody tell me nothing. That's funny, bro. Watch, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fall here at the end somewhere. Nah, I'm just gonna ride all the way through. Oh, wait, is this a different line now? Is that what this is? Oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. I didn't, I didn't realize that. Don't do it. Oh! No, this is the same line. Just 
Just want to focus up for a second. Okay. I'm going to ride all the way through. Go, 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 go. No. <laughs> I don't want that to happen. Let's get out of here, bro. Let's get out of here, bro. Everything all in one try. Let's see. Ah, we're dabbing on him. Man, I'm old. <laughs> Does anyone still hit the dab anymore? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that's just a me thing. That's just a me thing, right? Oh my lord. Dance on him. First try. All right. That was pretty sick. So it looks like everything in this part of Mammoth should be complete, which is crazy. So just in case you guys have not been tuned in or you happen to be new, I have been completing every single event and every single secondary objective in this game. So as of right now, just to kind of update you guys. And then again, I'm not sure when this video went up because sometimes I have to switch videos around. So Canyonlands is finished. Bryce Canyon is finished. Zion is finished. Yosemite. Grand Teton. And that's it. So now we are going to go, oh, or, or like now, now all that we have left is Mammoth. Well, technically Mammoth City and Sequoia. And Sequoia, we are going to get to very last, but that's only because uh, that's where the game started you off. So I want to finish it where we started, right? But okay, awesome. <gasps> Yo, I was capping. I was capping. I missed this one. Sometimes they're just stacked, so I don't even see them. <laughs> I was hard capping. My bad, my bad. Your boy was flying. Your boy was lying. All right. Wow, I cannot believe I just completely missed that. Okay, so there's nothing else over here, right? Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. Wow. Dude, you okay? Apparently not, because that was straight capping. So, perform a nose press on a rail. Score at least 35,000 points on a rail. Score 175 points and pick up five star balloons. No backtrack. I'm going to do this with a funky again. It doesn't say that I have to here. And no specific difficulty is necessary. So, I'm going to play through this one, I think, a few times because I have to find the balloons and that's not always for me to easy the first time. Wait, score 175,000 and pick up five star balloons in one challenge? Oh, there's some players here? Okay. I kind of already forgot what I was supposed to do here. <laughs> okay, score at least 35,000 points on a rail. I might have to play through this one a few times for sure. Okay, uh, let's see here. It says nose press. So this one should be pretty easy. So we just did a nose press. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, I've never played this event before. Oh, there goes a balloon. I mean, obviously, because it said new, right? So I just saw one balloon. Here's a second one up here. Dude, being in the snow is so fun. Earlier this year, I went to, uh, I went up into the mountains earlier this year and, uh, I went sledding. Sledding is, <laughs> sledding is wild. Sledding is wild. I, di I didn't go to, like, some kind of, uh, I didn't go to any place where they take you up on a lift. I just went to a place where you just went up into the mountains and you literally just pull over and you just walk up into the mountains, bro. Yo, I was going so fast on the sled. <laughs> oh man, it was insane. Like I had, I had my helmet on, goggles on. Like I was, I was ready to rip it and I uh, had, had my speaker with me. I was going crazy, right? Your boy was going brazy. Perform a nose press on a rail. Okay, so we just did that score at least. Okay, so rail points I'm gonna focus up on right now. But yeah, man, uh, you guys, like, if you ever get the opportunity to go sledding, I highly recommend it. It is so crazy. It is so crazy. I love it. Some of you guys may not like the, uh, 
the walking aspect of it, but I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do to uh, get those lines. Am I right? Ooh, there's some rail right here. Let me see this. Oh, I missed it, bro. Very bad angle. I mean, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, dude, finally. I hope that counted. I hope that counted. I don't know. I don't know why that was so hard for me to complete. Let's see, though. Let's see if we still got that. Oh, yo, look, look at my leg. Yo, my leg's broken. Yo, yo, you guys see that? Hey, yo, my leg was broken. That was crazy. There we go. Okay, cool. We got it. 35,000 points on a rail. That took me like two tries. I don't know why. Maybe because I had the snowboard funky. It is what it is. So now I got to locate the five balloons but yeah just as i was saying though bro like going up in the snow i've never been snowboarding i want to try snowboarding but uh hopefully i get the opportunity but i i love the snow like the snow is fun just going fast sliding down I didn't take that line. No wonder I couldn't find it. Look at, whoa, look at that guy running. Yo. <laughs> what the heck was that? Yo, that guy was speeding down the hill. Oh my God, that was hilarious. All right, finally, bro. Yo, no wonder why I couldn't find that last balloon right there. Cause I just, I just didn't take that line. You know, it is what it is. Your boy is a madman, right? But the good news is, is that we found it. Yo, I don't know why that, that player's ghost was just like, spray. <laughs> dude was Usain Bolt. That was kind of crazy. All right, so we completed all of our contracts for today and especially the Trek one, right? I think I'm gonna leave it right here, mainly because I already have over an hour and 10 minutes of footage here. As of right now, everything is pretty much done in Mammoth. I just got to clean it up in, or rather finish it up in Mammoth City. And then after all this stuff here, everything in Mammoth will be completed. No cap, I promise. And then we move on to Sequoia. Guys, that is going to do it for this one. Thank you guys again for watching, man. I greatly appreciate it. If you guys can please like, subscribe, comment, and enjoy the content. That'd be absolutely stupendously fantastic as always, guys. And as usual, I will see you in the next one. And <gasps> cue the outro.